Hello ham radio chums uh, Steve here uh, with another video this time with something I've built from completely from scratch uh, this all started about 10 or 12 days ago when I visited my friend Colin another radio ham and he had some nice home built simple transmitters and receivers and I thought well I could build some of those it's been a while since I've built anything from scratch um, so to get me going he gave me some World War II metal octal valves. Well, they're probably a little bit after World War II. But anyway, they're around in World War II. And said, so there you go, get going. So I have. And this is what I've built. It's a sort of a replica of a radio designed about 70, 74 years ago, which was dubbed the Paraset. And it was dubbed that because it was a set that could be dropped into uh, uh, occupied Europe for use by spies by parachute. Um, now in recent years quite a few people have made replicas of these. Uh, two valves in the receiver, it's called a regen receiver, and one valve in the transmitter with a crystal for the transmitter. I haven't got that bit finished yet. So this is just the receiver. Uh, regen control, transmit receive switch, fine tuning, main tuning, aerial and it's running from a little power supply. I've got a little uh, speaker plugged into it with an amplifier so we can listen to it. Normally it would have run on headphones. And it's running on the 80 metre handband. And here it is. Pretty good resolving single sideband. And we're amazed. It's just running on a bit of wire up my garden. I haven't plugged it into a, a big ham radio aerial. It's not really designed for that. This variant is would just plug into about a hundred foot of wire. It's brilliant. It works great on SSB, even better on MOLDs, which is what it was designed for. Not really built for the crowded hand bands of 2016, but it must have been um, must have been a a godsend, a lifesaver in uh, <clears throat> 1942. Uh, there is one drawback: you can DF the transmitter, of course. That's pretty easy, and the Germans are pretty good at that. But a regen receiver like this one, uh, which doesn't um, have any isolation between the receiver and the antenna radiates even on receive uh, which was a bit of a drawback so I guess uh, I guess uh, uh, people using them had to quickly switch off completely if they left the receiver on it radiates over a fairly small area so if you're close the receiver is even better for DFing than the transmitter because you know you're close if you can hear the receiver so that was a bit of a drawback we're going to build the transmitter I've got some crystals and We'll be on the air with an almost entirely, well it is entirely home built radio. There you go, a Paraset replica. Thanks very much, enjoy it, bye bye. <laughs>